Hello Pisces. Welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. Today I'm here to do a reading for my Pisces friends. January 15th through January 31st. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, of course. Let's get an overall energy for you. This one? Okay. That came out pretty quick. I don't like when they come out quick sometimes because I don't know if slow down pause and allow things to unfold so that tells me that maybe you are trying to control the outcome of a situation or it could be somebody else let's see what we got angels divine spirits and guides i invite you now to come in and help me deliver messages to the zodiac sign of Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? January 15th to January 31st, 2020. Show them the messages they need to see. Pisces. All right, I'll take that one. Four of Cups, Rejection, Bored, Sad, Not Interested, Somebody Trying to Offer You Something and You Don't Want It. Who Knows? Can we have some more cards for Pisces, please, Angels? They need to know. Show them, show them. I kind of feel like with it being mixed with that card, yeah, you're not interested in a player. <laughs> and you need to slow down. Be careful with your choices. That's what I'm hearing. Nine of Cups. Well, that's an awful lot, but nothing else seems to be coming out. So, the moon... Temperance reversed. All right. Can we have three more cards? Angels, please. Four Pisces. January 15th to January 31st. I know the shuffling is terrible, but you can fast forward through it. And there she blows. Ten of Swords. Final outcome. Magician in Reverse, High Priestess, Three of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. We got a Virgo, Gemini, Pisces, that's your energy, following your gut, Capricorn, and Aquarius. All right. The Magician in Reverse is overall energy. I'm not too happy with that. So the first card that you have for your past is the Four of Cups, which is the sign of Cancer. And that is about rejection. So either you've rejected a player or a player rejected you. But whatever the situation was, this is your energy, this nine of cups. I feel like it made you happy that something was finally over. You tried to talk to this person. You tried to work it out. They just didn't want to hear what you had to say. They just wanted to be this knight of wands energy. A fire sign in reverse. I call that card the wanderer. Someone who doesn't want to commit. Someone who doesn't want to be tied down. Don't want to be tamed. Don't want to be with one person. They just want to go, go, go. And they don't think. They're all talk and no action. They keep telling you that they're going to do things. They make promises that they don't keep. But whatever this was... And I feel like this has been numerous times because the Knight of Wands in reverse is in and out. So they left you or you left them and it ended and then they came back. And Six of Cups is in your future. They're coming back again. With these three cards that were on the top here, it tells me that they are coming back and they want to work it out. But you know that they're just like I want to I don't know why I want to say emotionally manipulating you because I do feel like there is love here this nine of cups and this six of cups there's love here 
They're going to try to use emotional manipulation. I'm sorry I cheated on you. I'm sorry I left. I'm sorry I went in another direction. Can we please work this out? Can we please get back together? Can we please talk? But you were so good without them. I feel like you were, your wish fulfillment was for them to just go away. This card, this slow down card, I just wanted to read you one sentence that really stuck out to me on, out of the whole thing. The candle in this card depicts the archangels and the flame symbolizes the energy of Archangel Michael, the archangel of protection. If any of you have prayed to the angels, Archangel Michael specifically, and asked to have ties cut, that's why this person left because they were no good for you. I feel like the universe is trying to tell you that this person is no good for you because you were so much better off without them. It's like the universe is trying to protect you from this person. This Queen of Wands energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius, I feel like even if you don't have any fire in your chart, I feel like the universe is encouraging you to take on this Queen of Wands energy which is to be courageous and brave and confident because you're very confused. The moon is in the center of your reading. If you look at this card here, this slow down card, let me see if I can get it up in the camera so you can see it. Do you see this maze here? That represents confusion. And with the slow down, I feel like you really need to sit back and think before you make any decisions. Maybe not even do anything at all because this person is coming back. And what's it going to lead to? The temperance in reverse. An argument. This relationship is like oil and water. You don't get along. The same thing keeps happening over and over. And you're sad. You want something more. And this person just isn't giving it to you. I also feel like there is a possibility here. Since this queen of wands is not your energy. I feel like this player could be hiding this person from you. They left and went into a new direction with someone else, possibly an older woman. They're not telling you everything there is to know. Like even when they come back and they want to work this out, they're hiding something. But if they left you and they went to this other person, it didn't work out with them either. They were, that was a breakup. And that's the only reason that they're coming back to you. Temperance in reverse also signifies to me someone who needs more patience. Just tell them, you know, you need to think about it and you need to seriously go into hermit mode and really, really think about if you want this person back in your life or not. I don't feel like you're going to take them back. If you do, I feel like they're just going to hurt you over and over and over. Ten swords, ten times. This is just going to keep going. It's an endless cycle. This relationship is out of balance. I feel like it's lost its spark. I feel like you give constantly to this person because you love them. And I feel like they don't give anything back. They don't give anything back to you except for arguments and problems. This person is also cocky and arrogant. They think that they are all that. And this last row is very clear to me. You need the strength to finally put an end to a situation and let go of something from your past. Stop giving, stop helping, slow down, think about your decisions, go in, be the high priestess, follow your gut, follow your instinct. You know, you know this person is no good. This could be a family member. It could even be a child because when I get the, the queen and the knight of wands that represents a parent child to me. I also had the six of cups here, which could also be a child. And maybe that's why you just want to help this person. They can't be tamed. They're wild, wild and out of control. I feel like they're only coming back to you because they're desperate. They lost their place to live. They lost their job. <clears throat> Excuse me, Pisces. They broke up with this other person. Now they have no other place to go. And they're like, yeah, I'll go back to Pisces. Pisces always helps me. Pisces is a pushover. I feel like you're so good. I feel like you're confident. I feel like you're doing fine without this person. They're going to tell you that they want to bring this back into balance. They're going to tell you that they want to start giving equally. They're going to tell you how much they love you. 
This relationship's been going on for a long time. I think with the Ten of Swords as your final outcome, this ending is going to be painful, but I feel like you are finally going to put an end to this once and for all. This argument that comes in, this person may something, say something that's very hurtful to you, which may make you see this person's true colors and realize that you should have let go of them a long time ago. I see that you're confused. I see that you're afraid. You know, with that moon being in the center of the reading, you know that this is not going to work out. It hasn't worked out 10 times before. It's not going to work 10 times in the future. I mean, seriously, that's just what I'm getting from this reading. It's so cut and dry. I even want to pull. I hope these cards are ready. They're new cards. And I did all of the, let's give them a knock. I did all of the preparation. They've been sitting in the sun for three days. Let's see if we get some energy. Angels, what messages do you have for my Pisces friends about this fire sign? I believe they don't have to be a fire sign because they could have fire in their chart and you don't even know it. That's too many cards. Can we have one card for my Pisces friends? Angels, please. What do they need to know about this person? These cards may not be ready. All right. We'll take that one. Ha uh, paradise. Expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, and enjoying each other. I'm going to take one more. I feel like that's what they're going to tell you. I don't feel like it's true. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out on the bottom of the deck. Take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, gambling. This person might even have a gambling problem. The take a chance, take a risk, I believe is for you to end this. This person's watching you, stalking you, and gaslighting. Huh? They're going to blow you up. You are the best thing that ever happened to me. With the happiness... And playfulness and enjoying each other. Enjoy them while they're here, Pisces, because they're leaving again. I feel that. The Ten of Swords is your final outcome is not a good outcome. You're wondering if you should take a chance, if you should allow this person back into your life. But, I mean, we got the trickster here. Don't trust this person. They're being selfish. And they're only coming back to you because they've lost everything. They have no, no place else to go. Let's pull a couple of Lenormans. Because this deck is new, and I'm not sure. Yeah, they're thinking of you, and they want to let you know they're thinking of you. Hmm. I'm not sure if that deck's ready. Let me get out my Lenormans, because I know they're ready. Angels, divine spirits, and guides. What messages do we have for Pisces? Show Pisces the message they need to see. With all of those cards over there, you could be between two relationships, wondering whether you want to take this fire sign back. You could have another fire sign here that is good for you, and you're having trouble choosing between the two. Yep, there's more confusion. You just don't know what to do about this person. The King of Wands. The sun is trying to shine through for you, Pisces. This person is like trying to cover up your sun. I also feel like, once again, with that card, that it's like the universe is trying to illuminate something, but you're letting confusion get in your way. Can I have one more card for Pisces, please, angels? What do they need to know about this fire sun? What is that one? Oh, the house. I knew you were choosing between two people. There's a king of cups here. So that could be a family member. I feel like you need to have the strength to put an end to something from your past and go in a new direction with a water sign. 
a Cancer or a Scorpio. Let's try one more. Oops. Can we have one more for Pisces? Angels, please. Show them the message they need to see. Pisces. Thank you, angels. Yep, there it is. The death card. And the owls follow your intuition. I feel like you know what to do. You know what is the right direction. But somehow you're just tied to this person in some way. The nine of pentacles is about being single. This king of cups, you could even be, that could be you. Just being a loving, caring person. You're, you're, you're too good to this person. I feel like you just keep helping them and helping them. And then they just keep taking off. Like they don't even care that they hurt you. You are going to hear from something that ended in your past. Possibly a family member. I see you're very confused about this person and you don't know what to do. But I'm going to tell you that you do know what to do. Slow down. Go within. The universe is already sending you signs. It's all over this reading. They're trying to tell you to put an end, end to it so you can be happy. This person is just going to keep causing chaos in your life. They're being very strategic. You have the key to free yourself from the cage. I'm going to leave that there, Pisces. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your situation. I'll see you soon.